Welcome to Film Fan. This episode is dedicated to Chadwick Boseman. We lost um, another incredible brother last night, uh, yesterday. And um, I was here last night taping an episode of Film Fan. I called it the Film Fan Blues, and I was sort of in jest discussing how I was upset about not going to the movies and, and not being able to go to the theaters due to the pandemic. And when I finished taping that episode and was getting set to edit that, I browsed um, I browsed and saw the news that, that Brother Bozeman had passed. And I, I, you know, I think I'm not alone and, and I speak for a lot of people. When you come across news like that nowadays, on your social media feed or whatever, like it just, it hits you. Like your first instinct is always to deny it right away. Like it's one of those posts where they've been saying, you know, Ava Vagoda suddenly dies. Ava Vagoda has been dead for a long time. Right. Or they say something like, you know, since somebody passed and that person hasn't passed and that person's still with us, but it's always some weird morbid joke for the internet to, to, to say that person passed. So when you come across somebody as young and talented and early in their career and as 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 just powerful uh, of, of a person, a, a person who's solidified themselves in our consciousness and solidified themselves in their career and in our in our minds and who they represent. When you see the passing of somebody like that and you hit that on, and you see that on social media to, to, to make my point, you don't you, you're, you're in complete denial. And it's kind of like, well, wait, what? First thing I always do is look at the source and I look to see, well, you know, who's saying this? Who said Brother Bozeman? You know, but I looked and sure enough, um, unfortunately, that reality was was um, verified and it was just shocking. It's just everything this year. I don't even need to check off all the boxes and, and tick off everything and describe how 2020 has been. And I don't want to do the whole 2020 is this, that and the other because you know, we've, we've, we've got some months left, so maybe it'll shape up. Maybe we'll see some miracles and some things that just that, you know, nothing can make up for what we've lost. But perhaps, you know, things will get better. But it's been a shitty year, to say the least. And the loss of Brother Bozeman was just like, I, I, I don't know. I felt the need to definitely have to to put something up to, to discuss it as a film lover, as a film fan. I understand what this man meant to so many just from this movie alone, from Black Panther, which to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna I'm, I'm keep it as real as possible. I had this discussion with a, with a friend of mine. Those of you who know me, um, before you pull my card, because I know that when the movie came out, I was not a big fan of Black Panther. I, I mean, I like the movie, it's a good movie, but I had things that I said about Black Panther, none of which had anything to do with Chadwick Boseman. But I thought about doing this episode and I was like, well, what do I do? Do I review the Black Panther? Do I make this a, a Black Panther episode and, and dedicate, you know, a review to the film? But then I feel like, well, at the same point, I can't do that because I, I'm not going to wax poetic and go on and on about Black Panther being, you know, when that's not my intent. My intent is not to do that and to, to ham it up about Black Panther because we lost Chadwick Boseman. My thing is to say that his contribution and what he did in the film and what he brought to that role, I'll tell you this, before Black Panther, when he gets introduced in Civil War, I was like, damn, the gravitas that that man had on screen went beyond the suit, went beyond the vibran vibranium. So, that is testament to who this man was on screen. It's not so much the movie. His his performance as James Brown in Get Up, his performance as, uh, as Jackie Robinson, his performances in film and what he brought to the role, especially at such an early point in his career. When you think about how many movies he's done. It hasn't been a, it hasn't been that long. Brother was only 43 years old and has so much more to give and so much more to do. Um I think about this too. I think about the, the the stunning thing is that he was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016. In 2016, he was doing Gods of Egypt. So I don't know if he was diagnosed before or in the middle of doing the movie or what the situation was, but he went on to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 movies after that while he was being treated. And think about the roles that he performed in Civil War, Avengers, uh, uh, Infinity War, Endgame. These are 
physically demanding roles and him playing Black Panther and, he, and the brother went for that many years with a diagnosis of colon cancer and struggling and going through what he went through and which I can only imagine and left us with that legacy of film and the things that he contributed to that whole universe. I would argue that his Black Panther performance and Black Panther in general was the epitome of the the, the MCU um, and he just brought something to the screen. I, I will never forget like it was yesterday when he when I saw Civil War and saw the introduction to Black Panther, I was like, damn. And going even a step further, to be real with you, I wasn't even a comic book fan. I didn't know much about Black Panther. But when I saw him on screen and heard about Black Panther and who he was and what he represented and how powerful he was and where he came from, I was just like, whoa. Anyway. So Chadwick Boseman bought that life. He bought that, the essence of whoever he was portraying. And he brought it on screen in such a way. And it was so much more for that brother to give. And this is, this is just a, this is a rough time for a lot of people. I realized that. And uh, I figured I had to speak on it. I wanted to speak on it. I wanted to show love and appreciation and respect and say, rest in power, King T'Challa. And, um, you know, I, 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 I think what people should also take away from it, I know it sounds like, you know, it's a message that goes with the death or the passing of anybody prematurely is that idea of acknowledging your presence and acknowledging your time now and your loved ones and hold tight to them and hold tight to the people that you love on the screen, the people who you, you know, go watch a movie, go, you know, honor the people who have passed that you, um, that you did like in film and the people that are still doing it right now and show that respect and hold on to it. Whatever makes you feel good and whatever has you feeling good for that person and putting that energy and that spirit into the air, then that's what you need to do. So, um, on that note, without doing, you know, I just want to say shout out again to King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman, rest in peace, my brother. Um, and I think the only appropriate way to end this would be to say Wakanda forever, my brother. Film fan, I'll see you on the next one.